Pretty good. <laughs> Did you feel that was a step up from your first round match? Uh, I think yes and no. It was a very different match. Uh, I think, I mean, particularly playing in the day made it uh, a lot different. The wind was a massive factor today. It changed end, end to end dramatically. And uh, it was important for me to try and get a good start. And I was able to do that today. Uh, I think you feel more comfortable every day. I mean, every every time you're, you're able to win a match, you have another opportunity to, to try and be that little bit better, to try and be that little bit more sharp and clean. And I felt like uh, I started a lot better today and, and then in the second set as well, was able to get out of some um, sticky service games towards the end of the set there. Yeah, I was going to say, Ash, like you got a six break to point opportunities there. It was the, the fact that you were able to produce big serves, a couple of big forehands there, the most pleasing part of that. Like, I know you probably don't want to give away that many break point opportunities, but the way you stepped up, must have been happy with how you handled those situations. Yeah, it was good to play the big points well, but I think all three of those games were 15-40, which is not really uh, an opportunity I want to give to my opponent. Three back-to-back -back service games, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, obviously nice to be able to get out of those. And uh, in those points, I play my structure of points is a lot better. Um, and I probably should have done those earlier in the service games. But that was also something that I did very well in the first set was um, get ahead in my own service games and then put the pressure straight back on Polona. Uh, either Greg Menin or uh, sorry, the, who, who, your, your next opponent. What are you? What are your thoughts on who you play next? Uh, I think they're still playing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I had I had no idea. We actually just had a quick peek once we got off the court, but they're they're still playing. So I think uh, for now, it's, I'm not really going to um, focus on it or, or stress about it. I'm looking forward to to playing doubles first. I think in between, I think we'll play tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. And then um, yeah, get kind of once we actually know who the opponent is, um, kind of start working out what we want to try and do and how we want to execute. We saw uh, Zverev last night with another big donation for the bushfire crisis. As an Australian, it must be humbling to see how the tennis community has really gotten around and supported everyone involved. Uh, it's been incredible, it really has, but I think it goes beyond the tennis community. It's, um, you know, the whole nation uh, is coming together and I think uh, it's what is amazing about Australians is that when, when our backs are against the wall, support each other and, and we come together and it's been... Uh, very generous from people all over the globe um, donating to, to try and help because every every single little bit counts and whether it's um, big, or, big or small, it all makes a massive difference. So it's been amazing to, to be a very small part um, of, of all the donations and, and the fact that the tennis community is coming together because I think, um, you know, the... The work that everyone's doing from the firefighters, volunteers, everyone's, it's been remarkable. It's simply, that's, that's the best way to put it. It's been amazing. So it's really nice for the community, but the whole nation to come together as well. As you're building into the tournament, uh, what areas of your game are you most pleased with in terms of the improvements and what areas are you looking at to improve more? Uh, I think... Each match, obviously, we, we kind of debrief it and look at it a bit differently. I think today was uh, a big emphasis on, on my return games um, and trying to generate a few opportunities because uh, Polona's got the ability to serve you off the court, hit you off the court with those first two strikes. So it was important to try and make a lot of returns. And, and then uh, on the other side of that as well was look after my own service game. So I think playing those big points well was really important today. Ash, we see some players request different courts, different different timings to see what they can get. Did you prefer playing in the afternoon or did you prefer the, the night session on, on Monday night if you had your choice next up? Both beautiful. No no kind of special requests, no no complaints. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to, to be in a position um, where I get to play on a on beautiful Rod Laver Arena and regardless of what court it is, uh, for, for me it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what time of day. I'll, I'll be there trying to, trying to give it my best. You said earlier that you were sick of seeing yourself on billboards. Do you think you'll ever get used to that? Absolutely not. No, it's, it's, it's I mean, everyone has to put up with me. It's pretty average, I think. But, uh, no, it's been incredible, um, like I've, I've kept saying, that the love and the support that I've received from people uh, all over Australia, in particular kids, it, it brings a smile to my face every single day when, when kids come up and, and just want to have a chat. It's, it's amazing. Regardless of who you face in the next round, I don't think either opponent's made it past the second round of a slam. Are you feeling more comfortable now? I think this is the third, third or fourth year in a row. You're up, up to the third round of Australian Open. Obviously, had great success last year at other slams. Are you comfortable now and like feeling, uh, yeah, comfortable on that on that big stage? I suppose the further you get into a slam. It's just more opportunities. It's it's more experience, more more learnings, um, more everything from from every time that uh, I'm kind of thrown into a new situation. And um, I, I mean, it's going to be no different for whoever my next opponent is. It may be a first for them, um, but 
they'll they'll be ready. They'll learn from it. They'll um, you know enjoy it, experience it, every, everything um, that you need to do to kind of be out there. So I think for me, it's it's about doing what I do best, regardless of whether it's a first round, a third round, or a final. It doesn't doesn't really matter um, for me what round it is. I'm I'm still going out there trying to do trying to do the same thing essentially. Just picking up on the point about the money that's being donated and the incredible, you know, generosity of people with the donations that are coming through with the bushfire crisis and everything else. Does that bring with it for you a bit of greater expectation because there would be a very symbolic and special moment if an Australian obviously won this tournament, you know, following on from what we've witnessed? Oh, look. Tennis is a game, uh, honestly. There, there are so many bigger things going on in Australia right now where I don't think anyone could care less if, if an Aussie wins it or not. I think, uh, first and foremost, it's about uh, the safety and the well-being of, of Aussies all across the nation, for, of wildlife, of everything. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, unfortunate that it's been going on for a couple of months. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd prioritise the, the safety and kind of rebuilding um, kind of parts of our nation that have been destroyed over, over a tennis match any day of the week. Um, Channel 9 was just saying you were texting Casey last night threatening to give some one word answers in your interview today <laughs> is, is that right? I text Casey most nights threatening something um, it just depends on what we've been chatting about but uh, yeah when she, she said last night she was going to sit courtside and I said uh, you know hopefully if, if the result goes the right way she'd be out there but she hadn't confirmed or denied it I think she was trying to keep me on the edge of my seat whether she would be out there but um, yeah, it was it was tough to try and act semi-professional with her on the court. Um, that, that conversation could have gone pretty south pretty quickly, I think. But um, no, it was good fun to see her out there. Any more questions? Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Ash.